So first was it for the liberalized remittance, uh, remit, uh, remit, remittance scheme and the rules is rules issues. They are in concert with the following statements. So under the liberalized remittance scheme, LRS, all resident, all resident individuals can freely remit, remit a certain amount of money overseas every financial year for a possible for a permissible state of current and capital account transaction. So under LRS, all resident individuals can freely remit a certain amount of money overseas every financial year for permissible set of current and capital account transaction. And third is the correct remittance can be cannot be sent to for trading on the foreign exchange markets. It's correct. So one and three are correct, but second individual cannot be open, maintain and or hold foreign currency accounts with uh, overseas bank for carrying out transaction. It's not correct. Individuals can open. So one and three. So under LRS liberalized the remittance scheme, individuals can freely remit certain amount of money overseas uh, amount of money overseas every financial year for a permissible for a permissible set set of current and or capital account transaction and three remittance cannot be sent for trading or on the foreign exchange markets. With reference to portfolio system uh, in uh, colonial India, consider the following statement. So, portfolio system with reference to portfolio system, Lord Canning was the figure associated with the establishment of this system. Lord Canning was the figure associated with the establishment of the system. Lord Canning. And 1, 3, and 4 are not correct. It was uh, it was introduced by the Act of 1933, transforming the Hydra India Executive Council into the Cabinet run. It's not correct. And three, the Act took away ordinance making powers to the Hydra. It's not correct. The portfolio system was replaced by the Government of India in 1934. It's not correct. So let, let <coughs> sorry. Second is the correct. Lord Canning was a figure associated with the establishment of the system. Okay, first uh, statement on the uh, the Council, uh, the Indian Council Act of 1861 was the act of the Parliament of the UK and uh, the, was, that was the transform the Viceroy of India's Executive Council, uh, Executive Council into a cabinet a grant on the portfolio system. This cabinet mm, had six ordinary rules and members who uh, rules each to uh, charge in of a separate department in Calcutta's uh, government, home revenue, military law, finance, and 18, after 1874 public works. Lord Canning Trainer is responsible for the production. And uh, three, the Hazra was allowed to issue ordinance taking uh, ordinances lasting six months in the Legislative Council and not in session of emergency. In, 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 so uh, the uh, act. Uh, thus empowered the highest uh, to make rules and ordinary orders for the more government convenient transaction of business in the council. It also gives give a, a recommend the recognition of the, to the portfolio system introduction by Lord Canning in 1859 and statement 4. The act of 1861 was replaced by the government of India Act 1915. The act repealed uh, 747 prior to the acts of parliament starting with, the, with an act of 1770 and replaced then with a single act of community 135, 135 section and 5, six, five schedules. So it was introduced with the, for the first time Lord House of Lords when, when it was referred to a joint committee of parliament. Here was the Lord Mau, Lord Lord Brown. The committee now uh, removed uh, several provisions which went beyond the simple beyond the simple consolidation of existing law. So learning, however, uh, after the great revolt of 1837, the British government failed the necessary of uh, seeking the coppers from the Indians and the, and the administrative and the, of, the, of the country. In pursuance of, the, of this policy of association, three acts were enacted by the British Parliament in 1861, 1892, and 1909. 
Indian Council Act of 1861 is an important landmark a landmark in the constitutional and political history of India. It is it made a, be, a beginning of representative institution by associating Indians with the law making process. Under this, the member of the Viceroy Council was made in charge of one or more departments of the government and was authorized to issue final orders on behalf of the council matters of his department. He initiated the process of decentralization by restoring the legislative powers of People Bombay and Madras presidency. It thus reversed the decentralizing tendency that started from the including Act of 1773 and reached its climax under the Char Charter Act of 1833. The policy of legislative devolution legislative uh, resulted in the grant of almost complete internal autonomy under the province, provinces in 1937. Next, next the following statements. The policy of His Majesty Government's uh, Majesty government with, the, with which the government of India are complete accord of is that it of increase in association of Indians in every branch of the administration and the gradual department of self-governing institution with a, with a view to the progressive realization of, uh, of responsible government in India uh, as an integral part of the British Empire. The statement coming from the Secretary of the State uh, is closely associated with which of, the, of these events. It is mainly first world war of 1914 to 1919. The policy which the ministry governments, uh, which was uh, with which the government of India are in complete accord, and is that it of increasing association, uh, association of Indians in every branch of the administration and the gradual de development of self-governing institution with a view to the progressive uh, realization of responsible government in India as an as an integral part of the British Empire. The statement the Coming from the, the from the then Secretary of the State, is closely associated with the with which of these events. So it is first World War 1942-1948. The first World War 1942, the first Great War 1942-1918, accelerated the national accelerated the national movement, especially under the direction of the Gandhi. But his government was the was the funding 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 its work under the growing compulsion to define the towards its towards India. On 20 August 1912, the Secretary of the State of State for, for Lord Edin, Edwin S. Montego. In the historic statement in the British Parliament was what is mentioned in the question statements. Thus, the, for the first time in the history of the rule of India, the British government made explicit its policy towards India. So, in advance, announced the uh, goal of governance in the colony for the, for the colony. Thus, the Act of 1999 was enacted. Okay, next, the Tashkent Agreement come back, uh, c contained the provisions of Tashkent Agreement contained the provision of of non-interference or in each other in, uh, internal affairs. And we, one is the a no war pact between India and Pakistan. It's not correct. A non-interference in each other's internal affairs. Tashkent Agreement. So, statement two: uh, the Tashkent Declaration was a peace agreement between India and Pakistan signed signed on 10 January 1966 that resolved the India and Pakistan war in 1965. And the declaration stated that India and Pakistan forces would uh, pull back to their free country position. Pre August lines. So, no later, no later. The 25 February 1966, the nations would not interference in each other's internal affairs. Economic and diplomatic relations would be restored. You know, there would be an orderly transfer of prisoners of war, and the two leaders would work towards improving bilateral relations. And uh, statement one: the, the agreement of, was criticized in India. Because it did not contain uh, a no war pact or any re renunciation of guerrilla warfare in Kashmir. After, after signing uh, the agreement, Indian Prime Minister 
Lal Bahadur Shastri died mysteriously in Tashkent. Next, Ukraine, Ukraine, Georgia, Romania, and, Tur and Turkey enclosed which of the following states? So, Ukraine, Georgia, Romania, and Turkey so enclosed uh, mainly Black Sea. So, it is very, very important Ukraine, Georgia, Romania, and Turkey enclo uh, the encloses with the following. Uh, black sea with the black sea the question was asked because uh, ukraine was uh, in news for some time during the crimea and accession and we are covering a chapter related to russian revolution ug undergraduate and rt please remember ukraine georgia romania turkey related to black sea so यहाँ पर देखिए black sea देखिए black sea के वो कवर कर रहा है यूक्रेन नॉर्थ में and उसके बाद रोमानिया ईस्टर्न साइड में and बल्गेरिया भी है बल्गेरिया ईस्टर्न साउथ ईस्टर्न साउथ वेस्टर्न साइड में and टर्की भी साउथर्न साइड में and जॉर्जिया वेस्टर्न साइड में and रसिया भी इसके साथ कनेक्टेड है रसिया यूक्रेन and उसके साथ देखिए रोमानिया बल्गेरिया Turkey and Georgia. So one, two, Russia, Georgia, Turkey, RGT, and Bulgaria, Romania, Ukraine. U R B. B R U Bru and and RGT. Bru RGT. So we have a discuss. ऐसे ही अब ये रख सकते हैं. So thank you.